What am I doing here? Yo. Yo. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi, Joey. What's up? What's up? Hey. Sup. Uh, Chip Tipperson wants to uh, throw them hands. You know, I'll take all the smoke. Figured I'd do one of these. I haven't done a Facebook, what is this, Instagram Live in a long time. If you want to get roasted, send me a request. So what? I can't catch Jungle Boy? Look at he's a stud. See that see that hair that he has on his head? Come on. Your finger. Oh, right. oh sorry man. Uh, what the fuck are you doing? I just, I just, oh my god, no! Ah, no! No! <laughs> fuck no! Get out of here! Fuck! Fuck! No, they got me! No! Fuck! Oh my god, dude. Alright. Hopefully this guy's not as spooky. We got someone else coming in the chat. What's oh. up? Oh my god, look at this nerd. Oh my god. Oh, oh my plan. god. How you living? Living pretty good. How how bro? Yeah. Dude, I, I hopped on fucking live at lunch. Seen you're on. What the hell? It's the first time this shit's ever happened to me. Best day ever. What'd you eat for lunch? Bro, I had a bacon cheeseburger. I had some jalapeno poppers. And guess what? I don't give a shit. What you ate for lunch? Jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno popper your way out of my chat. What do we got? She's doing fabulous fitness. Hello. Oh, look at we got a, a girl in here. I usually this is a no girl zone, no girls ah. allowed. But for the first time ever in the Joey Janella chat, I'm letting a girl enter the zone, the Janella zone. Thank you. I'm very honored. Thanks. Oh, you're Australian. Yeah, English. Oh, English. I get them mixed up. Not English. Welsh. Oh, Welsh. Nice. No. <laughs> so you're not. Wow. Welsh. Wow. No, 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 not Welsh. No. Oh, okay. I don't even know what Welsh is. From England. I don't know what Welsh is. You're from England. Yeah. You, you a Kip Sabian fan? Nah. Oh, okay. Definitely yeah. not. Good. Definitely just making, not. Just making sure, or else yeah. you, you'd be out of here. Oh yeah, would I be kicked off? You kicked off. Well, I'm gonna leave you be. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh shit. Who we got? All right. The CZW fan forty nine is entering the chat. It's like an opposite of a roast. It is. Sometimes you just got to chill out. Hello. Hello. You got the Janela zone. Can you hear me? What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? I was just wondering when you're going to kick Jericho's ass for the AEW World Championship. Show your face if you want to ask me a question.
All right. Guess he's ugly. Guess he's ugly, dude. They want to show his face. All right, what we got here? All right. About to go in the gym right now. Right out there. LA Fitness. Gonna get a nice little workout in. Oh, Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Yo, you look familiar. You know who you look like? Well, uh, who? A nerd. You look like a goddamn <laughs> All right. Nerd. Yeah. I'm from, from Italy. Oh, nice. Hi, from Italy. How you doing? Nice. I like pasta. Yeah, I know, but you have to know the, the right way to do it. You Can know? you t t tell me how? Yeah, the ingredients are basically the, the secret. Can you tell me the you ingredients? Know what I mean? Let yeah. me know the ingredients. Let me know ingredients to a good pasta. I'm, I'm uh, want come to, to Italy I... and you will discover them. No, just tell me over the, the, the deal. Because I, I want to take a girl out for a nice pasta date. And mm. I'm not very good at making pasta. Can you please tell me how? Uh, well, mm, I don't know how you do it. But while you're boiling the water, put the, the salt and then cook the the pasta. I don't know uh, how it works uh, I mean, in the USA, but in Italy, on the packages of the pasta, there is the, the you know the the time for for the the time cooking. You know, so for twelve or thirteen minutes. Yeah. And the important thing is the sauce. You know, the tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, if the sauce is shit, the pasta then will be shit oh you smoke too I'm, I'm gonna smoke may i smoke with you dude no <laughs> what are you right. smoking what are you smoking uh whist and blue yeah um, i don't like cigarettes i prefer you know rolling them rolling uh pot yeah uh sometimes a little bit of the yeah sometimes but the green uh, grass, i like to the grass the, gr the, the 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 devil's lettuce what? The devil's lettuce? What is that? Don't understand. It's like lettuce, but the devil provides it in hell. Don't know. Don't know. All right, buddy. I'm going to let uh, you be, man. Get back to making that pasta, man. I'm glad you gave me that story right. today over, uh, over live. Now I'm going to have a great date later. All right. All right. May I ask it. you something? May I ask you something? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, what are your opinion about um, all the problems in the WWE about uh, the talents leaving for the old elite? I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Really? Do you? Do you how? How do you? How do you feel being part of uh, AEW about the, this revolution in professional wrestling? It's great. Wrestle Kingdom has been great, I think. But Jer I hope Jericho does something, some kind of partnership between the two companies. How do you think about that? Yeah, that would be awesome. All right. All right, bye. Thank you, bye. How's my quality? Someone said my quality is not that good, but other people said the quality is pretty good. How's the quality, guys? And the guys in keyboard do cut my hair if you're still in here. This is pretty good. Highball. Highball. Organic energy drink. Is really that bad? But well, some people said it's good. Some people say it's bad. What is it? Fuck. Is it really that bad, the quality? Come on, is it good or is it bad? My matches, the quality is 
five stars. Dave Meltzer puts me over all the time. You don't need any other. Uh, you don't need need any other critique. Come on, guys. The quality. I'm in my gym parking lot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, fuck these people. Oh my god. No. 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 <laughs> Fuck. No. No. Get out of here. No. No. Okay, oh my go. God. I didn't go. Even... Go. Go. Oh my God. That was scary. That was scary. My gym parking lot. I don't look like Enzo. Not that, not that ugly. Yeah, I'm not going to go scream from my gym. Fuck. Man. Nasty Leroy, come in here. Come in here. Come in here, Nasty. Nasty Leroy, enter my, uh, enter my, uh, chat. Enter my chat. Look at this guy. Blasting rap music, smoking a cigarette. That's it. You like the hoodie? No. Yo, what the fuck? I'm Portuguese. Yo, Sam Fulton, you're about to be blocked, dude. You say one more word, you're about to be blocked. Is the quality getting better? Yo, what the fuck? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. What's up, Joey? Oh, Nasty Leroy is in the house, everyone. Give him a round of applause. You know, here at the National Concert. Give yourself a round of applause. Oh, you know. Give yourself a round of applause. All right, let me just put my phone in. There we go. I got, I got, I got heavy hands. I noticed that being in wrestling, chopping people now. Oh, you're chopping people now. Oh, yeah, I chop people a lot. Uh, that's my favorite thing to do. How do you chop them? Well, you know, I hit them with the, you know, I hit them with the classic Ric Flair. I can hit them with the Bully Ray, you know, besides Big Show. Uh, think little deal. Wait, Bully Ray and Big Show, they have similar chop? Yeah, they both come down with the, with like the this overhand. and stuff. The overhand. Yeah, they come with the overhand kind of joint, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's a good joint. That's a good job. So, also, How's like doing forums, huh? How's the women's situation with you lately? Oh man, you know, uh, you know, I had to had to let a few uh, two crazy and nasty hotties out of here. You know, what does yeah. that mean? It was getting. You know, listen, all right, all right. So what happened was, what I shouldn't have done is I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have gave the you know I took him to Pound Town as normal, right? 
But I couldn't, I couldn't, like, I couldn't, I start, I start, need to stop deep dicking these girls out here because they falling in love, getting crazy out here. And if I had a car, they would trash that, you know? They getting all kinds of crazy, you know? So deep, deep, deep dicking? Yeah, you know, you gotta, you gotta get, you know, when you like a girl and you really like a girl, you gotta get, you gotta give them the deep that you gotta go in there. You gotta go different positions and stuff. You gotta go in there, you know, you know. Yeah. I know. Wow. That's what it is. So, yeah. So you at the gym? Parking lot? I'm about to go to the gym. Look at right there. LA Fitness. About to get that workout in, you know? Maybe a little you know, Ellie Fitness kind of did me dirty, so After I don't fuck with Ellie Fitness. A little scrub, a little shower, shower, and then get to the, you know, the deep dicking. Yeah, you know, uh, so that's what it is. But I can't do it on all girls because they get crazy, though, so I got to keep that, you sometimes, know, when you... Sometimes just the tip. And, you know, sometimes I might have to just do the tip, you know, yeah, yeah, and, you know. Yeah. Can't take every girl to pound town because they get crazy out here, you know. Yeah, just a little little insertion, just give them a little taste of the the nastiness. Yeah, just give them a little taste, you know. That's what I'm gonna do. You're right, you know. You just give them a little taste. So, um, I heard a joke that you and Clothesline have been making. What you told me though. Yeah. Yeah. So I appreciate that, you know. Yeah, I always ask him where you're at. He's like, he's like, you know. You come up to him, he's like, oh, where, where's Nash Leroy? You ask where Nash Leroy? And he's like, oh, you know, if you don't have Nash Leroy, I can't hang out with you and stuff, you know. I appreciate yeah. you want to hang out with me that bad, you know. Yeah, you know, I'm... I might, you know, I might just ask, uh, I might just ask uh, QT to, if I come back safe, because I'll be at AEW in Atlanta, so. Well, tell them why you're not allowed around AEW. Tell, tell my uh, viewers right now what you did wrong. What did I did? I don't know what I did. Last year, you went to a show that you weren't booked on. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. And I jumped on the ring, and you I kind of blacked out. Yeah. Ambushed the ring without being booked on the show. Yeah. I kind of, uh, I jumped on the ropes. I didn't get in the, I didn't get in the ring ring, but I just so jumped on the ropes. kind of interrupted the show. Yeah. You know, mistakes was made, stuff was said. You know, people want to just come see me. Yeah, you know. But, you know, this year I'm trying to do better this year. I'm, I'm actually working on, you know, not, you know, being a loose cannon. So. You're, oh, you're a loose cannon type, Brian Tillman type. Yeah, so, you know, somebody who told me, stop trying to jump on the ring, trying to be a loose cannon and stuff. Well, but, you weren't so. booked on the show. You weren't booked on the show. Yeah, I shouldn't even went, though, you know, but knowing me. I was like, oh, let me just go check this out. But knowing my mind, when I see the person that's been messing with me, I got, I blacked out. I don't even know what happened. I just went in there. And, you didn't do anything. You didn't fight him. You just jumped on the ropes. Yeah, I just jumped on the ropes, which was not a good idea. Which, no, you know, I got you in trouble. That's why you haven't been around, I think. Yeah, that's what it is. I have to be invited and stuff, so, you know. Yeah, what da what dating apps you on, Leroy? Uh, I was on Bumble, but that shit is uh shit is trash. So y'all are getting me these uh mediocre looking girls, and I'm not worried about that, you know. Yeah, no mediocre. Yeah, I, yeah, I I've never been on Tinder. No plan to be, you know. You know. Anything else? Uh, other than that, I'm just training. About to go to training today. About to do my thing. Uh, other than that, getting in the gym more. Well, I, I am in the gym, but, like, pushing myself more in the gym and everything. So, other than that, this weekend, I'm going to be out with the Nasty team, my shirt, my group. Uh, I'm going to be out with the Nasty team doing my thing with some of the Nasty hotties. Wait, what's so, the Nasty? Oh, it's my group. It's my it's my uh, my fight team, you know. It's my group. Uh, it's, like the Floyd it's like the Floyd Mayweather, what do they call that? What do they call his his team? Yeah, his fight team. Yeah, yeah. What do they call that team? They call it. Uh... It's a corner man. It's all kinds of uh, stuff to help him out and stuff, you know, in the fights and stuff. But we not beating up women or nothing like that. So you know. 
we we not we not we not doing none of that. We not uh the funny team. Yeah, it was it was T, asked, it was. I never asked if you were beating women. That that's not that's not. Uh, no, I, I, I don't beat I don't women. No, just, I'm just saying. I know, I know. I don't know why you just insinuated like that was like. I'm just saying, thing. you know, people got the wrong ideas when they see the Nash team, and it was like Floyd Mayweather, and then you know they get the wrong yeah. idea, so you gotta let them know. Yeah, but I never insinuated that the nasty team was going around beating up women. I never, no, never. It's the yeah. opposite. We out here, we out here, we out here, uh, chilling with the ladies. We out here treat them, you know, with that uh, with that nasty experience, that great nasty experience lifestyle that it is, and that's you know, chilling with that man. It's just, it's a it's a day in itself. It's a night in itself, you know. The night. So we treat them. Yeah, we uh, we treat them the good night, out there. What's the night like in the south for nasty Leroy? Oh, uh, in the city town of Atlanta. Uh, how did your uh, night? How did your night start? So typically, if I if we are celebrating something like a birthday or I win a championship or something, we go to the strip club. We pick a or we like pick either you know, five strip clubs we have. There's a lot of strip clubs down here, yeah. so we like pick five strip clubs that that we whatever we want to link up and meet up at. So it, it either will be um gold rush it'll be a it'll be a, a one called blue flames but lately we've been going to magic city the world famous magic city where all the basketball players and all of them oh yeah you know. they, there's some of the basketball players they go that's leroy he's real nasty he, that's a nasty team you know watch out because if we have girls with us we want to hide them from the nasty team because the the deep dicky might commence you know. Well, you know what? You know what? On my birthday, on my birthday, I met a, a, a basketball player that used to play for the Sixers, Jimmy Butler, and his friends. And he said, "You know what? You know, I'm a big fan of you, Nancy. I'm a big fan of your videos and stuff. So, you know, let me buy you a shot." And then the shot turned into dances. And then we had like we had a lot of shots and a lot of women. We had at least about like about half of the strip club on our side. So, you know, it was like, yeah, who else you got with you? Who was that? And I was like, oh, that's, that's the belt guy with me. My next team, my right-hand man, my manager, my personal advisor, okay? So. Your personal advisor. Yeah. Like the that's hat. what he likes to be. Like the hat where your hair comes out. Yeah, so he's like, so he likes. Uh, he like a hat without a top. It's got a lid, yeah. got no top, your head. Kind of like, like that, but, you know, he likes to be called that. I just call him my manager, though, you know. Yeah. So, so he handles all my marketing and all my stuff that I go with, with my promos and stuff, so. What's his name? That, uh, uh, the belt guy, but he refers, but, but he's on Instagram, and his name is, uh, uh, Dwayne Marquise, uh, Caulfield, so, you know. That's is that his, Ferrari uh, Dreams? That's his handle? Oh, no. His, his Instagram handle is at Ferrari Dreams. M Ferrari Dreams. Yeah, at Ferrari Dreams. So you can follow him or whatever. Check it. He, has, he, he can uh, talk just as good as I can, too. So. Yeah, you guys you know. are good. We're just good talkers over here. What's your plans for the weekend? Oh, I plan to. Actually, I plan to go down to Twin Peaks this weekend, probably. I that's don't know. I don't, that's a restaurant. I plan that to go in there. there. That's my they spot. Or just pl- the girls dress like hot lumberjacks. Yeah. Lumberjills. Or just go to my spot at Hooters. I don't know. I don't know. I, might, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of deciding what I might want to do. Which one do you pick up more waitresses? Hooters or Twin Peaks? Well, I just started going to Twin Peaks more recently because some of the Hooter girls came over there. But I picked out more girls oh, at Hooters because it's my spot. Crossed over. Twin yeah. Peaks and Hooters are kind of like, so Hooters is kind of like the WWF in the 90s and Twin Peaks is yeah. WCW. Yeah, okay. basically. So what's ECW? Uh, Magic City. What is that? Yep. Magic City is the strip club. It's the world famous oh. strip club down here. So yeah, that's you the know. more extreme. So you got the two corporate the corporate entities, the two, the two colossal titans, and then you got the, the extreme, um, yeah, Magic City, I think. 
Yeah, and I'll be around the city. I'll be around, you know, uh, you know, you know. I'll be doing some AEW stuff, some, you know, some all, and I'll be giving these girls the all elite ways, you know, of the nasty experience, you know. Excuse so, me. I'll be giving them all elite ways, AEW act action, you know. So. The all elite. So all elite ways action, because you know when hanging with that man is all elite action. So just give him the the all elite action. Yeah, I'm no I'm no one around the city is you know, people know me as that man, aka that nasty man. So you know, not the city, but that, if I was walking around with you in Atlanta, people would be going, There's that man, there's that man. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty known around the city, though. I'm telling you. You come down, you hang out with me, man. I'm telling you. People know me around the street. I'm, I'm known on the south side, known on the north side, oh, known shit. all around. Oh, shit, it's that man. Yep. Yeah. That's hey, what they be man. saying. They be like, that man, you know. You know, they be like, where, where is your, when, where is one of your nets? How did they be asking about who am I with today, you know. And we all would be there. They would want to know. They just want to know about that man's lifestyle. So, you know. I know. We're learning all about that man's lifestyle right now. You know. I'm out what I'm... is nasty. It's nasty town. Yep. They know the saying. The, the catchphrase is that it's nasty time. They know when I say it, it's about to go down. You know, the, so. That catchphrase? Yeah, that's my. That's one of my catchphrases. I got a lot of catchphrases, to be honest. It's though. about to go down. Whenever you're about to give the deep. Oh yeah, I'd say it's about to go down in Pound Town normally, but oh. in the ring, in the ring, I just say it's nasty time, you know. And then, of course, right. another right. one is looking clean. What I hate is looking mean. Um, well, what's another one? Uh, oh yeah, this is this is when I go right. This is when we go right it in. We go right it in for nasty, you know. So we just go in, you know. I say to the girls, well, they go, what, what can you bring? What can you bring? You name, I got your name is nasty, but I don't really think you nasty. I'm like, listen here, girl. I'm young, hung, and skilled with the tongue, okay? <laughs> Sorry, <man. laughs> That's how it is. Holy shit, man. Yeah, what is it? Can you say it one more time? I'll be like, so when a girl be doubting me and stuff, and I'm like, listen, it's about to go rated right in out here. He said, I don't, I don't think you got what it takes. So I'm like, listen here, girl. I'm young, so young, and skilled with the tongue, okay? Okay. So rated N is about a step above NC-17. Yeah, it's way better than 17 It's rated, yeah. sorry, rated R, you know? No, rated R actually NC seventeen. If you're going to see an NC seventeen movie, is even worse than rated R. It's rated R, NC seventeen, then rated N for nasty. Yeah, so you know, got the top level of of ratedness, you know. The top level. Yeah, top level. Cause I'm a top level kind of guy. I'm a major league kind of guy. All right. Wow, major league, major league kind of guy. You're... Yeah, I'm a major so, league. I'm a, I'm a, you know, I tell people I'm a, I'm a main eventer already. All right, I'm a star already. So this already need to show it. I don't know if that's the case because when you jumped in that ring, uh, unsolicited, um, when you weren't booked on the show, they kicked you out of the building and basically out of the business. So I wouldn't that's, say you're know. main eventer yet. If you were a main eventer and you did that, if I came to a local indie and jumped in the ring. It would praise me like the the cock lord I am, but you yeah, know, probably, yeah, probably so. You know, I don't got that. I don't got that. I don't, I don't just got that notoriety like that. So you know, if you did that, it would be like a big event. You know, you know, kind of stuff. Me doing that, it like get this dude out of here, okay? You know, but it's okay. You know, and, and you know if that, you know, I told myself if this is the year, if I get kicked out, or I get blackballed or whatever, <laughs> nothing comes of it. I'll just go to YouTube and I'll go to the entertainment route of uh, stand-up comedy. So. Why don't you do that anyway? Huh? Why don't you just do that anyway? You're a very charismatic person. Why don't you start a vlog like Sammy Guevara 
he's getting a lot of followers from his blog because he's, you know, he's quite like he appeals to a, a large audience. Um, and I feel like you have the same kind of look and uh, boyish good looks and charisma and um, just uh, your body looks good. You know, you know how to talk. You have catchphrases. That's something he doesn't really have yet. He doesn't have catchphrases. You would develop that. But now you got to kind of just slow down and not jump into any shows unbooked. And, uh, oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not jumping in no, I'm not jumping in no promotions unless I'm booked. So, you know, the only promotion that I'm booked on regularly is One Fall Wrestling, 1FW. So that's, one fall. you know. Yeah. But what if at One Fall Wrestling they decided to have a two out of three falls match or an Iron Man match that it wouldn't be quite one fall? I mean, the one I had to do, just do even more cardio than I'm doing now. And yeah, two, but they, I'm just saying it's not you; it's the promotion's fault. If they went two out of three falls on a show called One Falls, they'd kind of be false advertising. Yeah, I could see that, you know. But I, you know, that's not that's not me who came up with the promotion. I mean, you know, I just wrestle there, so you know, if I had my, if I had my. If I had my way, you know, I wouldn't call it one fall. But you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna trash the names of the people who gave me an opportunity. You know, we've been done a lot of mistakes last year, and yeah. we're not trying to make no other ones. You're born again, nasty. Born again. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't say born no, again, born but again. you know. No, you're born again, nasty in the wrestling business, not outside. You've always the whole time been deep dicking. Um, sometimes just the tip. Uh, a little bit action in the ring, you're born again. You're a new man. You're, yeah, yeah. You're, you know, you're ready to make an impact. You're already a main event in your mind, but to other people, not so much. But, but in your mind, that's, you know, you're ahead of the curve, you know? Yep. So, you know, gotta have a different mindset, you know. Uh, this year, this year it was a lot of stuff. Not only on jumping on the ring, I got hurt last year. Uh, I got uh, I got sick. I didn't even know what what was wrong with me. It was real, you know, Wait, a lot of stuff. You were sick. You were hurt. You were sick. What What did you hurt first off? Well, I hurt my knee, and uh, what was that? What was that diagnosis? Or well, I hurt my knee and I hurt my elbow. My knee wasn't that bad. It was like it took me out for like a couple of weeks, and then my elbow took me out for a little bit. It took me out for like a month, and so my my dad at the time, Nasley or his senior, who was a doctor, was like, "Hey, you need to you need to stay off this elbow," you know. So. Wait, your dad's a doctor. Well, he was, but what, what happened? You know, he retired. Oh, he's retired. Yeah, he, he, he retired just like Jushin done the Liger, so. Yeah, they had a big so, her down in Atlanta at the, uh, you know, at the convention center. Just like Liger, you know. Even yeah. Anoki, Anoki sent How'd you know? Anoki sent them that message. I seen it. I seen it. It was on, uh, it was on TMZ. But anyways, what were you sick with? I don't even know what I came down with. Like, uh, I was supposed to come, I was supposed to go to WrestleMania weekend. So I got sick. I got, I got a Planet Fitness robbed me of my money and my membership. So hey, I had to take. What that do with being sick? Or just, it was saying all the stuff in the year of that last year, but I don't even know what I came down with. Like my friend, like my friend, uh, known as, no one has on Instagram for our dreams, uh, Dwayne. He was like, "Oh, you get you out here catching something. You out here with these ladies out here. You out here catching something. You might got the crabs. You might got this." So he's he's, he's roasting me and stuff, and I'm like, "I ain't got no goddamn crabs, but I might want to go to the doctor just and see, you know." So, so I went to the doctor. That your friend was speculating that you had the crabs. Cause I'd be out here a lot, you know. I'm trying to calm down my ways. I ain't gonna lie. Because, you know, I've had a, a few incidents. How I got hurt by my knee is because I was at one of the, this girl's house and uh, her boyfriend came in. And then so, you know, I had to jump out the I had to jump out the window. And like man, that Afro was not a smokest. Like the Afro Man song, Colt 45. When Afro Man 
was given to deep dicking and he had the guy came home with a shotgun and you had to jump out the window. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty much like that. Uh he had a shotgun and everything. I'm not trying to die. Oh, so you know, I jumped out, my knee I hurt my knee. So wait, it, it was your... Now? Did you hurt your elbow or your knee this time? I hurt both, but you know, I hurt on you know, my knee jumping out the window. You know when I landed, that's when I hurt my knee. It was my left knee. But my yeah. My elbow, it just kind of started hurting out of nowhere. I think it was in training I heard it, or in the gym. I don't know. But why did why did Planet Fitness cancel your account? Because you were fucking the manager and she got jealous? Is that why? Well, no, I wasn't trying to let the... Uh, well, at this Planet Fitness, they didn't have no good-looking chicks, let's just be honest, on this land. Oh, it wasn't you a know? good... It wasn't a good location. I mean, the location was good. It just wasn't no good-looking chick if I was going to fuck any girls, though. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you had a rough year. They just, just robbed me because they seen I got money out here, and, you know, I don't, I'm not rich, but I got, I got some, I got some you money, got so. Some yeah. You got some stacks. Yeah, you know, you I got, got I got, you know, I got paper, so, you know. Paper, some cheese, guap, guacamole. Yeah. So, you know. It just robbed me, so it was not it was not the best year. So you know, we we learn. Two thousand. We learn it from our mistakes. We live and we so. learn. I made I made some mistakes in two thousand nineteen. I wasn't the, I wasn't you know I didn't live the best. I lived my best life, but I made some mistakes while living my best life, that were bad mistakes. But that's what makes me the bad boy. So I'm all all is forgiven. Yeah. You know, you know, 2020, clean slate. Clean you know, slate. What are you doing? That's it. I learned from my mistakes of last year, and I won't make the same this year. Yeah. You know, I certainly will not be going to any uh, Blink-182 concerts. That's for yeah. sure. 100%. That ain't happening. Because I'm too, uh, I'm owing to at Blink, actually, I'm one and one because the one Blink One Eighty Two fight, uh, fight, I kind of look like a bitch, and then the other one, I actually got into a fight and I won that one. So I'm one and one at Blink One Eighty Two concerts. Hey, listen, man, they be trying to fight us, man. I'm just telling you, man. They be trying to fight me too, man. I'll I be chilling, do, you, doing my no, thing. You just be chilling. I just be chilling at the concerts, and they be wanting to, hey, Nancy, you fuck my girl. What? I don't even know who's up. Well, who are you? I, don't worry about who I am. I was like, listen, all right, bro. I don't want no That's smoke. that man. That's you, that man that fucked my wife. That's that man that fucked my wife. Nah, that normally is the dude, like, is, is that him? That's that. That's that man. And then maybe, that that, maybe wait, I think I know you. You're the smile. You the know, you were the one in the bedroom with my girlfriend. You're that man. That's that man. Yep. That man, so you know they be like messing with me. I can't even like. I want to go to concerts, more concerts this year, but um, uh, but I don't think. What are you a fan of? I'm a fan of all different kinds of music. To be honest, though, I like uh, I like I like a little bit of um, a little bit of metal, like a little bit of punk rock, a little bit of hip hop, a little bit of country. What's your favorite, what's your favorite musical acts? Well. I wanted to see uh I wanted to see Georgia Florida Lime in concert and then I wanted to see um uh Meek Mills in concert. Okay. Uh, I wanted to see uh, I never got to see, you know, never got to see uh I only saw Pennywise one time in my life and like and uh and Ransom one time in my life. So Ransom? Wow. Yeah. You're, you're surprising me right now, Leroy. Yeah, it's you know, people don't think by his face like I like all these kinds of bands, but I do. No, I could tell. I could tell you're a man of um, many, multiple different. Yeah, you know. But yeah, Georgia. I get Florida roasted. Life. I'm not. I'm not about that life. But I only like a few songs from them. But like, not like not that lately. Their latest stuff is not not in my favorite uh, stuff. So you know, I always cool. wanted to go to a Metallica concert though. Uh, Metallica, yeah, Metallica, a big fan. Um, yeah, so. I, I, I had an interest in country music becoming a country artist. But 
Oh. Uh, yeah, I want to focus on wrestling, you know. They had a good country voice, you know. I got a good country voice. Yeah, I could, I could tell, I could tell. Make a beat for me, like make a beat, like you were, like a, a country beat, and I'll, I'll sing along. Uh, okay. I'll just, all right. I'll try. Just, all right. Um, yeah, just hum. Mm -hmm. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be a good act to go on the road, you know? Yeah, we'd be good. My viewers are dropping right now like flies. I don't know if it's lunch, that they were late on their uh, lunch break. You Probably know, they, so. I, they were just watching us. This is like the Mega Powers shaking hands yeah. right now, live on Instagram yeah. Live. The two powers come together. The two powers, the nasty man and the bad boy. The, the nasty boys. Yep. It just, it just comes together because we're so similar. And there were people who were like, oh, how could this, you know, be so iconic? Yeah, it's so iconic. We're so similar. We're iconic. Uh, this is iconic mm -hmm. video right now. I feel bad for the people that haven't got to see it. But I'm sure I'm sure if you save this on, on Instagram, people will see it later on, you know, or Instagram well, Live. I, I'm you gonna save you could do that. I might save it. I don't know. You know, you know, I don't say, oh, you know, sometimes I don't see my lives, actually, even if they're real good, though, yeah. on Instagram. So, you know, so, I, I, I think, uh, I think, you know, when you see two people, uh, that have the same, my, or have the same similar lifestyle, you know, same lifestyle, kind of, we're both, kind of, you know. We're both I mean, dicking around, the, dick, dicking around our towns, our cities, just being, yeah. in, you know, cock lords, per se. You in New Jersey, I'm here in Atlanta, you know? Yeah, it's like the north meets the south, you know? Yeah. And but I don't want to get this, I don't want to get this thing because people are going to be like, oh, you don't sound like you're from the south, which I'm not. I'm just wanting to say this. I'm originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, so. But I will claim, yeah. We're in Pennsylvania. I'm a, no, I'm not in Pennsylvania. I'm in Atlanta now, but I'm no, from where, Philadelphia. Where? Oh, you're you're a Philly boy. Yeah. Very nice. I'm in yeah, Philly. I'm from Philly this week. I'm an Eagles you? fan. All that, you know. I still cheer for the Eagles. You know. Unfortunately, they lost. Yeah, unfortunately, that, that you know. But it's hard. It's when two birds collide. When it's a bird versus bird game, they're they're they're, they're two flying creatures. Two different birds, yeah. but they fly in different. We types. always lose to bird teams, though. I know it's that. We always lose to the Seahawks. Yeah, it's or, a bird like, versus bird thing. It's a bird versus bird world, you know. Yeah. Some birds eat other birds. You know, eagles. They're bigger. I don't know what. I don't know what bird is quite bigger, a seahawk or an eagle. But I, I think like the seahawk is kind of big. But I think the eagle is like, yeah, I got all that. I got all this uh, confidence. So what you want to do? He's yeah, like, he's not you. like, he's like me and my brother. My brother's taller than me, but he knows that I will take him down in a minute. All right. So he's 6'3", six, 6'4", six, something like that. He's a tall We're dude. Birds. We're not talking about humans right now. We're talking about actual birds. Well, I feel like the eagle is like, he's not too big, but he's not that big. So... No, but a Seahawk's got all this confidence because there's not only there's not always something easy for a Seahawk to land on. They're swimming on the ocean. You know, yeah. eagles they can land on a tree. Seahawks they gotta swoop all the way down and kind of glide into the water. So that's why they have the advantage. Oh yeah, because uh, the sea yeah because they're heavier. I got you. 
No, they're not. I don't. I, I don't know if they have hair. It's feathers, kind of, to be honest. No, I say if they're they're heavier, they can glide on water. Yeah. You know. Heavier. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't. You know. I just know. I just know that me, as a person, uh, I like. I'm like a. I'm like an eagle. You know, I can land on a couple stuff. Yeah, you, you know. can land and then you can glide right out. Yeah. So. You can. You can. Right. You can. Yeah. You can land in a couple in a something in a pile of shit per se by accident, but you would fly like a regal, a, a eagle right out of the shit, and you would prevail. Yep. Yeah. That's me. I always prevail. So you know. You're an eagle. But you know, I will. I will say this. You know, uh, going more on to. Ostrich. I'm more of an ostrich, a land bird. I'm running. I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can see you doing that. Yeah. And I'm just looking at you like, yeah, what you? Why? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why just you running. running. Why are you running like oh, that? Oh, you know, I, you know, I walk sometimes, but then I like to fly. So, you know, because I stay fly, you know. Yeah, Flies man in the room. I catch flights, not feelings, you know? Nah, I don't catch feelings that much anymore. So, I'm not yeah. heartless, but I, I'm just saying. You're heartless? No, I say I'm not, I'm not heartless, but I don't catch feelings as much as I used to. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. When I'm taking girls to pound town, so. Yeah, I don't catch feelings. When I'm taking girls to pound town, you know, unless I took you out to, for pasta beforehand, doesn't mean anything. <coughs> yeah, it's just like, all right, we just we're just two human beings just hanging out. You you want to get with that man? So hey, listen, you getting cooked dinner? I don't normally cook pasta. I normally will like cook something something like real other another simple dish. I probably like cook grilled chicken and some uh, grilled chicken, uh, some, some sweet potatoes or something. Yeah. Salmon? Get, I'm out here getting. I'm out here. Oh, you know some salmon too. You know I'm out here eating healthy. You know so. so I'm out here. Yeah. How would you prepare that? Yeah. How would you prepare it? Like if you were gonna cook me. How would I prepare it? Well, I don't have. No, strictly. I actually friendship. I actually ate dinner. all. I actually you ate all that. What? I actually ate all that, so. No, I know you ate it, but what if? Like, oh, you saying? Yeah, you know, okay. You come over to the Nancy La Casa, and you want me to make that? Okay, I got you. Make it. How would you prepare it? Oh, well, first, I know I don't like to give all my secrets, but I'll give some of them out. You know, I don't use a, I don't use a pan. I use the I got the you know the um, George Foreman glare grill. So I cook it with the quick the grilled chicken in that. Then what I do is I peel the potatoes off, and then uh, after I peel oh, the potatoes off, Leroy, my quality's bad again. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Oh yeah, Spotty. Okay. All right, Leroy. Let's talk later. Let's do this again. All right, I'll talk to you later. Love you, bye. Nancy, my friends. Yeah. All right, guys. That was the end of uh, Janela Zone. It's back. We do a couple of these every week. Everyone, uh, you know, I've been bored with my life lately. You know, you know, uh, my travel schedule is not as crazy as it used to be. So, you know, getting in contact with the fans and letting me ramble. So. I'll see you guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Let's see if there's anyone else in the queue. Nah. All right, guys. See you. I got to go work out, if you want to call it that.